Hi, everyone. I hope you are well. My name is Nikki O'Keefe. I am an ATD internal senior facilitator, and I'm here with a toolbox tip. Today's tip is all about how we can gather feedback from our stakeholders or our subject matter experts when it comes to our performance support tools, our digital learning experiences, maybe even an electronic job aid or an e-learning program. The tool I'll be showing is Articulate 360, and it's one piece in particular. Some of you may be familiar with this, and it is the Review 360. I hope, though, that uh, maybe some of the other tools that we engage with have similar functionality that you could also explore. Now, within this Review 360 tool, what we're going to have the ability to do is ask, say, how is it looking? How is the program? Stakeholder, what do you like? What needs to be tweaked? What can we modify? Because as we know, as talent development professionals, gaining feedback and buy-in early and often is going to be critical to the success of our programs and uh, meeting those learning objectives. So what we're going to do is first we need a course that we want some feedback on. So we're going to play around with this Building Positive Work Relationships uh, program here that was built in Articulate 360. I'm going to go ahead and click on that to just showcase what the course looks like so far. Now this is just a template from the Articulate community, but I wanted to use it as a way of an example. So let's say I've taken time to design and develop this content. I've had a good peek through. I'm liking the way it's looking, but I need to touch base and make sure it's hitting the mark with those key players who are going to be um, push, helping to push out this content as well. So what I need to do is say, what do you think? So let's go ahead and see how we can go about sharing our courses with our stakeholders using this tool. So we have the option here to share. Now it's pretty nifty because we have the ability to use a link to share the preview of the course. We can also set a password if we wish, just so it's not going out to anyone. And then we also have the opportunity to invite particular team members to maybe edit the course. So maybe you do want to add in some collaborators who can then instantly make changes. Sometimes we don't want that, but it is nice to have the option. So once we go ahead and share that link, and as you'll see, if I just pop the link in here, we're gonna see the course loading. And I can view it like an actual learner engaging with that content. And you know, maybe I get to a particular section, maybe it's how to be a team player. And I'm thinking, hmm, not so sure I am a fan of this section or this image. So what the collaborator would then be able to do is make some comments directly within that platform. So let's see what this looks like. I, I have some examples already kind of pre-built to showcase what this could be. So this is my review tool. So when I um, come back and I'm looking through my, my courses and I want to gather some feedback, I go here to see what comments have maybe been left. So I'll, um, let's see, I'm trying to head to one that has some content there. This is what it, it will then look like in, in my view. So I'll have the review, the feedback, and the share again. And so as comments are added here, you know, maybe it's the, the looking good. I'll get notification of when those are posted. I can also add the replies straight away. You also have special emoticons, or maybe, you know, there is a particular attachment or image that you want used rather than the one that's there. You can add that straight to your comment and then you can engage those team players you may be collaborating with on the course. So it's really um, unique in that you're able to tie it directly to the screen that you're working on to make those instant fixes and changes. And then you can come back, of course, to your working mode, which is, is this view. And then you're like, okay, well, they said to maybe tweak a particular element. Let me head back to edit mode by opening up the course and I can then easily swap out a particular image like this team player image. 
And once I make that change, I can go ahead preview and send it back over for sharing within that platform of, again, that Review 360. So it was built in RISE 360, but Review 360 is what holds all of the stakeholder feedback. So I quite like it. I hope you do too. If you have any questions about that tip, please do reach out. Best of luck as you work to gather feedback from your stakeholders. Thanks team. 